Okay, today I got a little project. Uh, as you can see, I got a hole in this case. That was where I had a switch for um, that VIC-2 mod I had in here. And uh, I took that out because it's easier to test the video uh, chips. It was too tough. The, the, mod of, the board would move and it was just too tough. So I'll put that in a different board. This one is easier just to get down to these uh, supporting IC chips that, for the video if I have to anyways. Because I'd have to take that out. But uh, we're going to fill that hole. I, I'm going to use a, um, I need a reset switch on this. So it's like this one here. It's just a momentary push switch. They're simple to hook up. There's just two legs on it. You hook up wires to it. And on the other end over here, I have a resistor, 100 ohm resistor. I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, I'll have to show you where we're going to be connecting these two on the board. Get this out. Set this aside. Okay. We're going to be connecting to this IC chip U20. We need to connect to pin 8. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This bottom right corner and capacitor. Uh, where is it? C105, I believe it is. Yes. But we're going to have to be careful because there is a five volt line. You do not want to connect to the wrong side. We're going to connect over on this right side of it. So we flip this over. I've already marked it. You can see on here. Yeah. So here's our pin 8 of a U20. And there's our leg we need for our um, uh, capacitor. So what that does, I believe, is when you press the switch, I believe it pulls the, uh, the uh, reset down. And that's what resets the computer. If I'm wrong on that, somebody please correct me, but I believe that's how it works. Um, I've had trouble in the past. There's other ways to do it. You can connect. I think it's one in three of your user port. And that'll also reset the computer. But I've had problems in the past where I've had a fast load cartridge in. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've hit the reset. And it didn't properly reset so I found the one we're gonna do today works a little bit better all right well let's get started bring this over so you guys can see a little better hopefully we got the iron hot I'm gonna have to add some solder here Just putting a little um, shrink, tubing, shrink tubing over this so it doesn't short out underneath this resistor. Okay. Okay. Set this 
excess off. Okay. Too long of a wire but that's okay I'm probably gonna trim this up to uh, allow me to I'll probably end up cutting this somewhere and making a quick disconnect so it'll be easy to when I have to remove the bottom if the report remove the board from the bottom case I'll be able to do that easily but I'm not going to be doing that in this video. Hopefully you guys can see that. This fit. Yeah, I need that washer. Okay, and just as a quick explanation, the reason for the 100 ohm resistor is in case you hook it up wrong, uh, uh, Ray uh, recommends to have that on there just in case this way it will, uh, actually let me just read it from here, it says, by the way, don't miswire any. Don't miswire and connect the far side of the resistor. That goes directly to the 5 volt supply. Grounding that line will accidentally kill chips. If you want to make this modification fail safe, add a 100 ohm quarter or half watt resistor in line in series with the switch. Then, if you make a mistake, it will do no harm. It will just not work. So, it is a good. Good idea to put that 100 um, ohm resistor in there. Um, if you're not sure, if you have a bunch of them like I did, I marked mine off. I had two of them, luckily. A good way to check is just take your ohm meter. Um, and I already got it on 200, so that way I can read 200 and below. And you just touch both sides of your resistor. And as you can see, 99.5, roughly 99 ohms. So it's a 100 watt resistor. And that's what I put in there. So now that we have it connected, let's give it a test. Let me move you over to the other side here and we'll, we'll give it a try. Hopefully I got everything in the shot here, so. Video power power on. Let's see, I can see some of the camera. Okay. Yeah. Not sure how much of this you're gonna be able to see. Okay, you'll notice when I press this, you'll see the the border squish in, the uh, cursor will freeze, and then it'll go back to normal. That's how you know it's working. 
just like that. And we can test a cartridge. Turn that off. Easy flash. The problem I would get here is where it says fast load. Um, I was using it on my SX64, and every time I'd hit the reset with it, the other style, I don't even know what to call that one, it was just a quick um, user port reset. The computer would reset, but it, like it didn't clear the memory all the way or something, and it wouldn't reset the cartridge port for the fast load so I wasn't too happy with that but this style does you'll see it when I reset it it'll come back up fast load again it does a, it does a better reset on it so I, I prefer to do this one um, so that's a quick easy uh, modification the, the reset button comes in handy I think you guys might uh, like enjoy doing that one it's 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 not that hard to do and um yeah thanks for stopping